All right, today we are going to review Icono Square. It's a great app if you want to um, take Instagram to the next level. If you are an Instagram account user or a power user, uh, it has some built-in analytics that can help you keep track of how your posts are doing. And it can also give you ideas for tags, new subjects, and generally what people are using out there in the Instagram world. Uh, it also makes it super easy to search uh, Instagram. And so the big advantage of Icono Square is that you can use it from any um, desktop PC or Mac. Uh, you just go to iconosquare.com and there you have it. So I am already logged in under my uh, Instagram account. If you weren't uh, logged in, you would just uh, click here to log in. It asks you permission to uh, connect to your Instagram account, and you are set to go. That it's that easy. Okay. So uh, basically, what first comes up is your feed, and so what your friends are posting. Um, and you could cl click on my media. That's going to show you all the all the posts that you had. Uh, you could see my likes. Okay, so what you clicked on, what you liked in the last uh, couple of days. Uh, you can get a view of what your followers are, are posting. And uh, my recent following, so who I clicked on, who I'm following. And then we also have uh, popular, so you know, who's basically popular in uh, the network right now. Okay, so these are all from your front page, okay. Usually what I like to do with uh, Icono Square though is I like to look at my own account, okay, so I go to View Profile and uh, here I have uh, 1,676 uh, uploads as of today, uh, 12,542 followers and 1,173 following, okay. Uh, shows me all my postings and there's a couple of different views that you can pull up here, uh, but most importantly, uh, the, this has built-in analytics and uh, what I be, mean by analytics is you can click up here on your statistics okay and uh, you can see all your new followers, your lost followers, uh, your growth okay, uh, your love rate and so uh, this is uh, about your follower engagement and how much they like your status uh, your talk rate, so uh, how many um, posts per um, picture you're getting, so how, how much engagement you're really getting, your spread rate, and uh, all of these can be expanded. Uh, you can click on rolling month detail, uh, you can see who your most engaged followers are, uh, you can see you know as far as uh, your growth and followers, gain and loss, so uh, in this time period, I gained 4685, lost 7, 762. Uh, you can go by content, and so content will tell you, uh, you know, some of your most engaging and most popular uh, posts. Um, you can see what day of the week is your uh, busiest. So in case you're kind of slacking, like I guess I'm slacking a little here on uh, Tuesday and maybe Thursday. Uh, it just shows you also what time you're posting. So, um, you know, you can see how many posts you're you're doing in every hour. Um, my most used hashtag is uh, car porn because I have a car uh, page, and so uh, I put down 99.7% of my posts. And um, I don't really use filters too much, but um, I use Amaro. Uh, if I'm going to use a filter. Um, and then uh, I geolocate, I try to geolocate almost all of my uh, pictures. So um, this really kind of breaks down, you know, uh, about your content. Uh, here's another useful tool, engagement. Okay, so engagement, uh, likes received, and this will tell you on a, uh, on a rolling month basis how many likes you're getting uh, per month. Uh, it'll show you your most liked pictures and it'll show you how many comments you're receiving 
And so, you know, my Instagram started really blowing up uh, February, March, April last year. Um, and so, you know, that's where I got a ton of my followers. Uh, and then it'll show you the most commented media. You know, this one got 42 comments, this one got 30 comments, 41 comments, so on and so forth. And optimization. Okay. And so uh, with optimization, uh, you know, you can see your current posting habits. Okay. So this is days of the week and times of the day. Uh, so, you know, for example, you know, at 2, 3, 4 in the morning, I'm usually not posting. Sometimes I'll do that on a Saturday, but uh, <laughs> that's, that's, this is the time I'm sleeping right here. Uh, like Sunday afternoon, I post a lot. You know, that, that's why this circle is big. And then the uh, media average lifespan. So, like, once I post, um, you know, in the first hour, I'm getting 164 comments. Then after three or four hours, you know, three hours, it falls to 20 comments. And so, you know, you, you want to really strike it while the iron's hot. Um, and then your filter impact. So, again, I'm not a big filter user uh, on Instagram, but if I was, that would show you uh, how, how many... Um, filters or which filters are triggering the most likes and comments. Here we have tags uh, and the tags uh, will show you uh, your, the tags that you're using and versus the top tags on Instagram. And so, you know, it, my opinion is some of these are a little overused or a little vague. And so I still uh, like to make up my own tags within my niche on Instagram. And this goes on for a long time. And then we have community over here. And again, this is all under the statistics um, tab up on the top. Okay. So if we go to community, all right. So community, again, uh, we have, uh, I'm follow or I have uh, 12,700 followers, which, um, you know, I, I think this is got updated last week because this is a, a little off, you know, following 1192. Um, you know, followers who I don't follow back, reciprocal relationship, and followers who don't follow you back, 772. And so, you know, I follow a lot of big companies, a lot of big celebrities, and they may not uh, choose to follow me back. Uh, shows your growth, uh, shows your account growth. Um, again, new followers, lost followers, um, people who enjoy you. Uh, so, you know, the top five following people who have, you know, liked you the most in a given time period and then, uh, others that you may want to follow. So, you know, these are people who, um, you know, are engaged in your, in your posts, uh, or in your, you're engaged in their posts, but you're not following. So, all right. The, uh, other main thing I use Icon Square for is to do some research as far as users and tags. Um, so I use this search box up here. Um, I like posting a lot about exotic cars. So uh, let's search for the word Lamborghini. And here it is. Okay. And so on the left here, we have everyone who has their, uh, their name Lamborghini. Uh, and then on the right, we have the most common used tags with the word Lamborghini in it. And so, like, if I click on Lamborghini, Lamborghini Aventador, um, it has 42,151 pieces of media attached to that tag, and we can go through them. Now, this is useful. Uh, let's say we want to look at this uh, account, okay? Uh, it has 110 likes right now. Um, but you could also get ideas what other tags pertain to Lamborghinis. So, you know, Giallo, Amarillo, is referring to the color, um, and you know, Power, Machine, Bull, Lambo Girl, um, and so these are all tags that you can use um, when your mind's going blank and you want a, uh, a good list of tags to attract more viewers. And that is it for Iconosquare. Hope you enjoyed the video, and keep an eye out for more to come.